Good morning, everyone. Welcome back with another lesson for Microsoft Excel. Um, today, we're going to look at a few different features for editing. Uh, first, we're going to look at text size and font type, text alignment, and we're going to look at wrapping the text, merging and centering uh, different cells in each sheet. And then we're also going to look at how to put borders in and a couple different features for shading some of the cells on your uh, Excel sheet or in your workbook. So let's get started here. And first we're going to look at how we can change the text size and the font type and a, a couple of the visual effects. So let's say um, that we've got some data entered here. What a great lesson this will be, period. And so we've got our sentence right here and, and we just, we'd first like to change the size of that. We can do that by coming up here to font and you just hit this little drop down and you'll see various sizes. You can go uh, pretty large. We're gonna keep ours about 14, we'll say. The other option that you have is to select the cell and you can click on this up area for increase font size uh, and you'll see that'll make it bigger. Or we can make it smaller by clicking on this down arrow for decrease font size. So we'll keep ours right at 14. Okay, and so that's how you change the text size in Excel. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is, let's say we really wanna make something stand out. Well, we can select different font types to make a specific words stand out. You'll see we just come up here where um, you see the different theme fonts and there's multiple options in here. So just pick out your favorite one or the one that's most appropriate for your sheet. We're gonna go ahead and leave ours just on uh, Calibri for this time, but just know that you can come right up here under the font section and change your font type if you'd like. So the next thing we're gonna look at is text alignment. Um, so let's say we again have this same sentence here in this cell. So we copy with control C and paste with control V. And then let's say that this column is rather large. And so we see that right now it's left aligned. And if we stretch it out a little bit, it's bottom left aligned. Now we can change that uh, by coming up here to this section where you'll see it says alignment. And we can go from the bottom, which it's on right now, to the middle, to the top, or we can go back to the middle, back to the bottom. We do that by selecting one of these three options right here under the alignment. Now let's say that we don't want things left. Let's say we're a little bit backwards today and we'd like to go on the right. We can select right align, we can select center align, or we can go back to left align. Now for today, just for learning purposes, we're gonna go ahead and make this look beautiful by putting everything in the center and keeping it all right here in let's say center on all these. So we're just gonna grab these entire thing and we're gonna put them all in the center and put them all in the center. And so we've got that and that's how you change the text alignment. Now the next feature that's kind of fun is let's say, are we having any fun yet? Well, yes. We are, but I sure would love to subscribe. Let's say we got this really long sentence here, okay? And uh, it's actually hanging over quite a bit where you'll see that we're in column, yeah, I'm sorry, in column C and we're in row four but you'll notice that we're hanging over into column D right here in, in uh, I'm sorry, in row four. Um, and so what we wanna do, one option that we can do is clean this up by selecting that cell and we come up here to wrap text and you'll see that it wraps it around or we can leave it the way it is. Now for today, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the text. We're gonna put that on all of them because we wanna keep it nice and organized and everything in its own cell. And so that's how we do that is we just come up here to the alignment and wrap text and it'll keep it in the cell. Now if we've got a really long, well let's say we take this one again and we copy by hitting control C and then paste by hitting control V 
And let's say we didn't wrap it. So it's hanging over. Let's say we're going to use this as maybe a headline. And so we wanted to merge these cells and then make them bold and really stand out. The way we do that is we select the cell by left clicking and we hold it down and drag over. And you'll see that I've selected uh, both column C and D, row five this time. And we're going to come right up here to merge center and um, watch what happens. Now this becomes one cell, okay? So we've got one cell there, and if we just stretch this out a little bit, you'll see that now we've got uh, a little bit of a, a better format to make headlines or titles or things like that. We can make it bigger, and then we stretch it out again, and you see that we're still in one cell right there. Okay, so we can merge cells together. Again, you just left click, drag all the cells you want, and then we come up here and click on merge, and you'll see that that became one cell right there in that section. Okay, so that's merge, um, merging your cells. Now, let's say we want to separate this. We want to make it really look uh, just beautiful, and we want to keep it organized, and uh, one way we can do that is we can place borders around the cells to uh, kind of clean it up a little bit better. So let's select up here and we come right up to this top section under the font and we want all borders. So there's lots of different options of the borders, but we want all borders. So now we got all borders there. Let's say we're going to put all borders in all of our data. We come up here and we'll click on all borders again. Now if you just want uh, just a bottom border, top border, left border, right border, you got all these different options right here. You can draw borders, you can change the color, you can erase borders, you can select custom borders. So whatever you feel is appropriate for your sheet, just go ahead and select it right there. So that's how we place borders on there. Now the last thing we're gonna look at is shading cells. And we do that by selecting the cell. Let's say we want to shade this upper row right here. Uh, sorry, row one. Then we can select that by highlighting and we come up here and let's make it yellow. So we've got all these different colors for each of the cells and you'll see it changing colors in the back there or we can go back to no fill. And you can even customize colors in here where you got all these different options or if you know your um, color code. You can put it in here and adjust. We can change to many different colors. Okay, so whatever color you want, you can choose it here in Excel. So that's today's lesson. Uh, some basics on editing. Hopefully that's helpful and uh, helps you understand a little bit better how you can change the text size, font type, uh, the alignment, how you could wrap text in one cell, as you see right here, how we can merge cells together, add borders, or even shade certain cells. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Remember, if you want any tips for Excel, Word, or PowerPoint, go ahead and comment in the um, section below, and we'll do our best to get back to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe to the station. Talk to you later.